Yo, what is going on guys? This is Beanie and welcome back to another Road to the Show series and I'm so pissed off right now because I just shot one and uh, and the game saved after it and everything um, but uh, the video it turned out was like corrupted or something. I don't know. It, it ended up like freezing and it, on, it like cut out like the last four minutes or something. It, it, it just it was unusable so uh so i have two games that you guys are not gonna see i ended up going uh three for four in one of them and i think one for four in the other one and i got a walk in one of them so that's good but uh yeah i'm sorry about that guys and the thing is, is it was a pretty good episode too it just i don't know it, it kind of pisses me off but anyways uh i'm gonna play another one here and hopefully we won't have any problems with this one. So, uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Uh, league leaders, Bubba Starling. That's a prospect name that you don't hear a lot anymore. You don't hear a lot about Bubba Starling. Um, but uh, we have him. He, he is a Kansas City Royals prospect. But... Uh, but anyways, um, uh, you know, I, 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 a lot of people might uh, notice this. I did spend a, a few stubs on upgrading my player, um, you know, just so maybe he can get to the majors a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker. I updated uh, or I upgraded almost everything a little bit. So, uh, so yeah, just so he's a little bit better. Right? So you see now I'm hitting 316. So I had a pretty good uh, corrupted episode but uh but anyways i think we're playing as jacob nix that's a, he's a he's a good player jacob nix is a pretty good player um uh as you can see i'm playing on legend um and uh yeah let's uh let's just get into it playing at wagon man stadium i really like this stadium i've played online here several times um and uh i don't know it's just it, like the scenery is kind of pretty uh, and all that, you know, I, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a, a good, a good little stadium. I like the dimensions, you know, it's, it's pretty pitcher friendly, but the gaps are pretty big. I don't know. It play it to me. It plays pretty balanced. Get through. Damn it. I'm so look, hitting on legend offline is, is not that easy. I, I almost think that sometimes offline is harder than online. I know a lot of people might disagree with that, but that's just like been my experience, really. Go foul. Okay. I don't know. I think it may be like the randomness because, you know, you can kind of pick up patterns against human opponents, but it's just totally, it's just RNG, uh, you know, against the, uh, against the computer. So it makes it a little tougher. Oh, my. Is that a fly out? I think that's fly out. Man, and see, I see. I don't think I think in like online on Hall of Fame. I think that may have been like a home run, but because you have to be just so incredibly precise, um, in uh, on Legend, and you're playing against the computer and stuff. I think it kind of screws you. Oh, and another thing in that last episode is I made an unbelievable play that I was so pissed I didn't get on camera. Like it, the, the bases were loaded with one out, and I ended up making a diving play. That, that turned into a double play. It was pretty awesome. Oh, that ball is crushed. That ball is crushed. That was a hanging slider. And it's gone. It is gone. It's a bomb. Oh, oh, look at him. Look at him with the home run celebration. I'm a bit of a show off whenever I hit home runs. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know. I just, I want to give the crowd a little bit of entertainment, you know, just kind of do do my thing uh what am i gonna do here oh yeah just do a little you know just a little shoulder bump i'm not crazy i'm not gonna do that uh that crazy ass uh home run celebration number four where you pretend you're like a raptor and you're and, and you walk towards home plate with tiny arms like you're a raptor and then you give your teammate a high five with your tiny arms i don't know it's kind of creepy to me like, but I, like, I wonder if anybody out there like that exists that just has like super tiny arms, like, like it's an actual medical condition, you know, like where their arms are, dude, that was a terrible play by you Walker. That was, that was horrific. But a guy with like really tiny arms where he just has like, you know, they're, they're only like three inches long and he has little tiny hands coming out of them, but the rest of his body is normal. I wonder if that happens. If it is like, 
Yeah, that's one of those things, like, I would feel kind of bad for him, but I, I don't know if I could help but kind of laugh just because it would be so hilarious to, to see that. I, I don't know. Does that make me a terrible person that I would think that that was hilarious? Uh, I kind of have, a, I guess, like, a morbid sense of humor. What does this guy throw? 91, 89? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get a, another bomb. The scouts are definitely liking us a little bit more now that we have uh, hit that home run. That's our second home run. Um, you know, they're, they're seeing the power that they drafted me for. They're seeing it now. It's coming to fruition. Um, okay, we got the 2-1 count. What would be even better is if we drew a walk because then, you know, they'd start slapping those 60-plus grades on my power and my plate discipline and my hit tool and all that. They'd be like, okay, this guy – this guy's got a future. He kind of sucks on defense, but he's got a future in the MLB. Oh, and that's I, – I don't think that's doing anything. Nope. I just got under it just a little bit. That, that's been happening to me a lot in this. I've also hit a lot of balls really hard. Okay, that's the game. Let's play another one. Larry Walker. Larry Walker is the, is the player of the game. Is there a guy – because th this is the Operation Sports full minor – rosters is there a guy right now in the minor leagues named larry walker is that a thing because if so that's pretty cool i like the larry I, it'd be nice to have another larry walker in the league and we're facing cal quantrill again this is awesome he uh apparently they they, they really believe in this guy this guy has a good future as, as long as he doesn't get hurt oh my but he might not have a future after that because that is a out oh my god that guy just robbed my third home run i'm so pissed right now schultz you are the biggest queer ever god, no i don't want to become homophobic Th this road to the show series has become kind of overtly homophobic uh, homophobic and you know me I'm, I'm you know one of my goals in this channel is to be super pc and to, you know, just be very politically correct because I think it's important that everyone be politically correct. And if you're not politically correct, I think that you should, uh, oh shit. I think it, it, oh, he was safe. Okay. He was out. Okay. That, that's good. But, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm a big believer in censorship of people who aren't politically correct. I think that's totally reasonable and not a load of, uh, uh, a sack of horse shit in any way. <laughs> I don't believe I, I don't believe any of this. I don't know why I'm saying it. Uh, but uh but yeah, that Schultz guy. That that that's kind of weird for me that to to like hit a hit a home run that gets robbed and and somehow it turn into a big political commentary on how I hate things that are PC. That's a uh, I don't know, that's kind of a large leap to make. I don't know. I don't know how I got there. My mind kind of wanders sometimes, you know, I, it's not, I, I, I have ADHD and that, uh, hitting the ball so well, but it's just, it's just not going anywhere. It's just not buddy Reed. This is another guy. I think I may have talked about buddy Reed in another episode. Is this the only team we play by the way? Do we only play San Antonio? It seems like it. And I should have went to there. I think there are there two outs, so please let there be two outs. Yes, there were two outs. Okay, so I don't feel like a big, uh, like a big uh, silly. I was going to say retard, but that's not PC, so I'll say silly. I'm a big silly. Probably should have swung at that. That was a, that was a pretty good pitch to hit. A fastball right down the middle. I, uh, oh, and that's right at him. I Man. I don't know what to do. My coach is like, man, you're you're hitting the ball. The, the, those are going to start falling eventually. You know, the, the, those are going to be falling, so don't worry about it. That You know, how, how fast is this guy on first? That'd be nice to know. Okay, he's pretty fast, so I might as well just go one here, take the out. But I don't know. It seems like we've played the San Antonio team. Uh, like, the, it's the only team we've played because I faced Cal Quantrill and – and seen Buddy Reed several times. Who is this pitching now? Brasobin. That's a cool ass name, Brasobin. I kind of want my name to be Brasobin. 
I, I'm pretty sure I went around right there, but hey, I'm not going to argue uh, with with the ump. I'm a good guy. Not going to argue. That ball's hit hard. No, it's not. It's just like a little, little flare out into the outfield that's easily caught. And that's the game. That was not a good... Even though we hit that home run and we had that home run robbed... Man, I, th- that that was a frustrating. Our average is down to two fifty nine. We went from hitting three like three sixteen or something like that to two fifty nine, and I, I don't know. I think that uh, home run rob kind of put me on tilt. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this road to the show episode, guys. I'm really sorry that that last episode the video was corrupted or anything or and everything, but. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really know what to do about it. I don't know if that's like something that can be fixed somehow through editing or something like that, but I didn't know how to do it. So, uh, so yeah, I just had like this, you know, this big thing, you know what, let me, uh, I'm going to go, that's going to be my thumbnail. So I'm going to go and, uh, and, uh, show the guy robbing the home run. Uh, okay. That, that's pretty good right there. I'd say that I, I think that's a pretty solid thumbnail. You got g- giving you guys a sneak peek into how the production of this channel goes. Uh, this is basically what I do. I do this and then I go into Photoshop and Sony Vegas and I do, you know, a little something, something with the editing and I make a thumbnail. So yeah, there you go. But, but, uh, but anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this road to the show episode. Guys, keep saying that like Dodger films. I don't want to say that like Dodger films. I don't want to be Dodger films road to the show series. So it's exactly how he says it. I'm like a carbon copy of that guy. I don't want to be that. Uh, even though he's a great YouTuber, Dodger Films, great YouTuber, go check him out. He has a really cool softball series that I really like. Don't really like watching him play MLB the show that much cause he's not very good, but he's really good at, uh, at making videos. He's a really entertaining guy. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I think that that is probably going to do it unless I have a, no, I don't have a scene. Check these two guys out talking though. Uh, I wonder what they're talking about right now. It's probably the guy on the right is probably like, dude, I, I smashed so much puss this past week. I smashed like at least 17 pussies in the past seven days. And McCarthy is like, uh, well, yeah, you know, that that's pretty impressive and all, but I smashed, uh, 11 pussies this week and at least eight of them were, were tens. And then the other three were 8.5 or higher. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, Slogan, pretty sure that you, you know, maybe you smash 17 pussies, but like at least 15 of them were no better than a six. So I think in aggregate, like my, my, my achievement is a little bit more impressive. And Slogan is like, nah, dude, pussy is pussy. But then McCarthy is like, well, no, it's really not pussy because like, you know, you want to, you want a pretty face and like maybe some big titties and stuff like that. So you can play around with them and stuff. And it makes it a lot more, a lot more entertaining than, you know, just smashing like a, like a six, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just one of those things, right? And Sklogan's like, no, nah, dude, I don't even give a shit. Like I, I, I do them doggy most of the time. So I don't even like really see what's going on in the front. Like I just, you know, just kind of do my business and like, it, it just feels really good to me. So, so 17 to me is 17. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. And McCarthy is like, well, then you're just a, a, a piece of shit because I, I still think my feet is more impressive. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking dumb. Anyway, <coughs> anyways, guys, uh, that is going to do it, uh, for this Raid the Show series. I'm sorry about the ending. That ending was, uh, was definitely not PC, um, <laughs> But uh, anyways, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace.